What's up, YouTube? It's Top Shelf TTMs here with a TTM Mail Day for February 1st, 2013. One package mail day. Kind of interesting, though. Um, as you can see here, Oakland, California. They're signing two of one in 24 days, autograph 68 and 69 a year. It's Hall of Famer Joe Morgan, who signed my card, the game used. Right there. I don't know why these guys like don't sign over here more, and they all like get in the jersey a little bit. I don't know if they're like trying to like devalue it or what. I'm not like it's a big deal, but it's just kind of interesting. As you can see, this one kind of got banged up a little bit. If you remember, he sent me back a letter saying he only signed one, so uh, I had my wife my wife write to him, <laughs> and uh, he signed that. And he also included this, which I've never gotten. Um, it's like an it's like a thick piece of cardstock. It's the size of a baseball card. But what's interesting is these signatures are totally different. You can see that. I mean, beside the G, <laughs> and that's about it. Beside the G, they don't look anything alike. So I pulled up a Morgan. I actually have a few Morgans that I've gotten before. This one I got TTM, and that one matches that one on the card, not the one on the index card. Or cardstock thing. That one was pretty much identical to that one. It didn't change too, too much. Uh, it's a little bit different at the end, but I'm thinking that's just because he hit the jersey. Um, I have some other stuff signed by him, a baseball, um, and that matches the signature. So I'm wondering if that is even authentic or if it's like just a like ghost signed or something. I don't know if anybody else has gotten them before, but that just doesn't look like it. Um, I don't know, unless that was a signature a ways while back and he just cut them but if that's i mean i got stuff signed by him from years ago and it still matches that signature so anyway nice addition there to the to the game used auto set and that i don't know what to make of anyway as you can see here ttm stuff this is all spring training a bunch of eight by tens right here i don't know what's in there i think there's like 30 of them um then probably another like 80 letters 90 letters right here um, almost done with that, so get ready to send that stuff out. Also, I saw some people are sending out some balls, and they've been asking questions on different stuff, so I'm just going to give a really quick rundown on getting baseball signed, okay? There's different balls out there. There's an official Major League Baseball. There's official league balls. There's different things like that. All right, this here that I'm going to show you is an official league ball, and it says genuine leather. This I had signed probably 20 years ago by Juan Gonzalez. As you can see, the signature still looks good. Aaron Seeley's on there, and I don't know who that is. But anyway, it still looks good. That's because back then, this and a, ma and a Major League Baseball were basically the same thing. These ones had blemishes. They had problems. But they just couldn't use them for a game. And so you basically were getting the exact same ball. It feels like a Major League Baseball, everything, but it's a little different. That's not the case anymore, contrary to popular belief. They started making them in China, and going with that, they changed everything around. This here is an official ball, Eastern League, which was double A ball. It looks exactly the same as the official league ball. That's because this is the same as an official league ball, the new official league balls, which are not the same good leather quality. In fact, it has the China stamp right there, and as you can tell, the signatures are just beat. I mean, they faded so bad because these things just soak in the ink. They do not hold signatures. So I know they're cheaper. There's a reason they're cheaper. They're garbage. Don't use them. <laughs> if you want to keep your autogra autographs, don't use them. You can get them single signed in a Sharpie. Strangely enough, I know people say not to do that. Those balls aren't leather. They're not going to bleed with the Sharpie. It's actually better to get them signed with a Sharpie. Your best bet, though, of course, is the official Major League Baseball. Um, this one here is signed by Hank Blaylock. This is actually for trade if anybody's interested or sale, whatever. But um, that was signed, hmm, I don't know, maybe 12 years ago, 10 years ago. And as you can see, it still looks great. Now, the deal with these are they are pricey. <clears throat> you can buy these on eBay shipped for about 12 bucks a ball. I don't do that. Uh, I'll tell you the truth, uh, you got to buy a case of them to do that, and you got to spend 150 bucks. What I do is I buy them individually at Target. If they're $13 in some stores, $14 in others, I don't know how they decide. 
it comes in a case like that and you can just use it over for the difference in price just buy them when you need them as far as i'm concerned that one so i'm by tom glavin you get the nice case you get the holder and you get the official ball but if you're going to get baseball signs spend the money and get a good ball signed don't get the cheap stuff i mean i know a lot of guys out there just want to go out and get balls 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 signed <laughs> but uh anyway it's useless just to get junk balls so you know save them for better players and, uh, you know, for others, get photos or cards or whatever. But, uh, yeah, that's just some insight into it. I know people have been asking about getting ball sign and things. You just, you, you got to be careful with it because, you, you know, you'll get something in the mail and you'll be excited about it. And a year from now, you won't even be able to see the signature. So that's that. Uh, hope you guys found it a little helpful and I'll uh, we'll talk to you later. So, yeah.